joined on the phone today by author Paul Vigna. He is a Walking Dead expert and also author of the new book, Guts, The Anatomy of the Walking Dead. Hey, Paul, how are you doing today? Good. I'm great, Dustin. How are you? I'm excellent. Thank you so much for joining me. Yeah, no, I'm absolutely happy to be here. Thank you. Well, uh, I know we only have a few minutes, so let's uh, get started and talk about your new book here, Guts, The Anatomy of the Walking Dead. Of course, uh, all the listeners out there, I'm sure, have at least heard of The Walking Dead, but uh, what are the listeners in for with the book? Well, the book is, okay, I, I will say, if you haven't watched the show and you have any designs on watching it, uh, buy the book. <laughs> don't Not buy the book, <laughs> but, but don't read it until you've caught up. It is a look at, you know, every angle of the show throughout the first seven seasons. So uh, there, there are chapter recaps, there are detailed discussions of specific story points, there's a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff, how the show got on the air, how they make the zombies, how they dismember the zombies, uh, how they film certain things. There's discussions of, you know, you know, what are the best episodes, what are the best weapons to carry in a zombie apocalypse, you know, all kinds of stuff. And then uh, there's sort of all the higher-level discussions that I wanted to have. Why does this show matter? Why are people so into it? What is the reason that a zombie show on cable television is the most popular thing? And so there's a lot of discussions about that, about sort of the cultural moment we're in and, and why people respond to these characters and what is it about the characters and what, what is it about zombies that, you know, kind of reflects what maybe is going on in the world in a metaphorical sense these days. And so it, it's really a, a broad look at, you know, the show. Well, I, I don't want you to give too much of it away, but um, can you kind of describe uh, why it is that this show, I mean, it's surprising a show that's so violent is actually like the most popular TV show in, in the country right now. Right, exactly. And I mean, I was a fan of zombie shows before this came on the air. So I like zombie movies, I like zombie books, you know, like I was into it. Uh, I was going to watch it. But a lot of other people, I think, who were not have come to watch it, and as long as you can stomach the, the gore and the violence, and not everybody can, uh, there there is something there. There is a story there. And I think what people miss who don't really maybe give the show a chance is they see zombies and they think, oh, it's just zombies, it's Splatterfest, it's Friday the 13th, it's lowbrow, you know, and then they kind of move on. But this is a story, uh, really at its heart, this is a story about extremely average people who are thrust into overwhelming circumstances and are, have, were completely unprepared for it, and how do they cope? How do you cope with the absolute worst thing that could ever happen? That is what the show is about, and it is about these people, and it is about how they survive and how they come together and how they reform society. And on, in that respect, this is not a genre-driven show. It is a character-driven show. And if you watch it, that's what you come to realize. And I think that's what a lot of people who haven't watched the show and haven't given it a chance, I think that's what they miss about it. Yeah, definitely. And I know, uh, Paul, you've uh, interviewed a, a lot of the actors and uh, the behind the scenes of mm -hmm. people for the book. So, I mean, obviously, if you love the show, then you're probably going to want to get to the book as well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, and just through my work over the years, I had talked to a lot of the actors and produ production people and Robert Kirkman, who created it, and Greg Nicotero, who is the, the special effects whiz. So there, there is a, you know, there's a fair amount of kind of behind the scenes stuff in there that kind of explains some of, you know, I don't want to give away too much, but, you know, some of how the zombies are created and destroyed and, and the backstory of some of the actors and how they got on the show and, and how their characters have kind of been formed by who they are and the backstory of Kirkman and how he came to make this in the comics. And uh, so there, there's some of that kind of behind-the-scenes stuff as well. So even if you're a fan of the show, I would think there's probably some stuff in here that you haven't seen before. Excellent. Again, uh, Paul Avina with us and his book, Guts, The Anatomy of the Walking Dead, is out now. And, you know, I got to imagine some of the actors uh, on the show must feel like they hit the jackpot, you know, because at a time it would seem like maybe people who are not doing so well in the acting game and they sign up for some kind of weird zombie show. But uh, obviously, right. uh, you know, you roll the dice and it paid off big time. Yeah. You know, the, re the really, really funny thing about it is you look at this cast and these actors and on the one hand... Yeah, they are Hollywood actors on the most popular show on television, and that's got to be great. But they are Hollywood actors on the most popular show on television, which has a habit of killing off regular characters. So they actually have about as much job security as anybody else, 
their jobs can be taken away literally in you know when the next script gets handed to them and most of the time they have no choice in the matter and what i think is really interesting in, in talking to them is is that they appreciate that they get that and i think that really does inform not only does it inform their performance i i really do think that colors how much intensity they try to bring to it but that also i think is very reflective of the real world these they're they're in a job that yeah it's great and and look i'm in the media business and i love what i do right now but i'm not stupid about where the media business is right now and i know that someday it could be my turn to get the the pink slip just like anybody else and these guys live with that too and it really does create a different dynamic with them and and they you know i go to these walker stalker conventions and they're at them too and they really have an appreciation for the fact that they're on this show right now and they don't take it's really interesting and it, i i know they're actors but i really think they're very genuine in it they don't take it for granted and i think that's very very interesting and i think uh, paul on the other hand uh, when you mentioned the conventions and stuff it seems like the show has been so popular that even a bit character or you know maybe a guy who played dead guy number four could be on these conventions and making money and signing autographs oh yeah i mean uh there, there is an actress, a young actress named Addie Miller, Addie, right? Yeah, Addie Miller, who was, uh, she played the little nine-year-old zombie in pajamas in the the opener for the series, the premiere episode, the cold open. She was in the show. She was in a five-minute scene. She might have had a minute of airtime, and she still goes to the conventions. And she is still, she's popping. She has fans. She has her own fans who will go to see her. And they will go running to her, and, and it has literally become, uh, you know, she's like 14 now or something like that. You know, it's become a career for her. And it is, yeah, p- even characters, people who are in the show for very short amount of time, very short amounts of time, they are, the fans love them, and the fans come to them. And uh, if you were a main character and you were written out, I mean, you have an entire career now. I mean, you are known as something. And it's really funny, 50 years ago, Leonard Nimoy was Mr. Spock, and that became who he was, and he hated that for many years, right? Uh, these characters, these, these actors, these, these people, they embrace the fact that they're recognized for these roles. Well, I know the show is back now with a new season, and um, even if you followed the uh, the comic series, obviously the show isn't uh, following that to a T. So do you know, I guess, where the show might be heading, or and maybe how much longer it'll last? I know that uh, when season eight opens up, you know, and this is and I'm not giving anything away. If you, if you stopped watching after the season seven finale, you know this. Uh, when it opens up, you are going to have this massive battle between this bad guy, Negan, and his, his gang, which called the Saviors, and Rick Grimes and, and his gang, his, his followers. So that's where the show is going right now. Is, is they're calling it, you know, the billboards are all calling it all-out war. So it's a big battle between these two different groups of survivors. The comics are still being produced. Robert Kirkman is still writing them. Uh, in story time, I think they're, uh, they're several years ahead of where the show is. So there's a lot of material for the show to work with, and it is an insanely popular show. I mean, if it lost half its audience, I think it would still be the number one show on cable. So AMC is not going to cancel it, and they have a lot of show, they have a lot of story from the comics to catch up on. So I think this is a show that is probably going to run for, I think you could easily see it running for another five or six seasons. I mean, the only thing I think that would, could possibly end it would be if the creative team behind it just got completely tired and burned out and decided they wanted to end it and they couldn't do it anymore. I think that is the only way this show goes off the air. And none of them seem to be on that mindset at all. They love doing the show. Definitely. And again, uh, the new season is back now, and the new book, Guts, The Anatomy of the Walking Dead, is out now as well. And again, uh, thanks a lot, Paul, for being on with me today. I appreciate it. Yeah, no, I loved it. I'm I'm always happy to talk about the show, so I, I appreciate it. Thank you. And again, that was author Paul Vigna. His book, Guts, The Anatomy of the Walking Dead, is available now as the new season of The Walking Dead is back. We'll be back after this.